Dorian from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. For the tropical cyclone, see Typhoon Durian. The durian is the fruit of the trees from the genus Durio, belonging to the Durianaceae family. Widely known and revered in Southeast Asia as the king of fruits, the fruit is distinctive for its large size, unique odor, and formidable thorn-covered husk. The fruit can grow up to 30 centimeters or 12 inches long and 15 centimeters or 6 inches in diameter and typically weighs 1 to 3 kilograms, 2 to 7 pounds. Its shape ranges from oblong to round, the color of its husk green to brown, and its flesh pale yellow to red, depending on the species. The edible flesh emits a distinctive odor, strong and penetrating, even when the husk is intact. Regarded by some as fragrant, others as overpowering and offensive, the smell evokes reactions from deep appreciation to intense disgust. The odor has led to the fruit's banishment from certain hotels and public transportation in Southeast Asia. The durian, native to Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia, has been known to the Western world for about 600 years. The British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace famously described its flesh as a rich custard highly flavored with almonds in the 19th century. The flesh can be consumed at various stages of ripeness and is used to flavor a wide variety of savory and sweet edibles in Southeast Asian cuisines. The seeds can also be eaten when cooked. The name durian comes from the Malay word duri, thorn, with suffix an. There are 30 recognized durio species, at least nine of which produce edible fruit. Durio zibethinus is the only species available in the international market. Other species are sold in their local regions. There are hundreds of durian cultivars. Most of them have a common name and a code number starting with D. Many consumers express preferences for specific cultivars, which fetch higher prices in the market. Infobox Durian Image Durio cutagensis fruits also known as Durian Mara. Scientific classification, Kingdom Plantae. Unranked classifications, Angiosperms, Eudicots, and Rosids. Order Malvales, family Durianaceae, genus Durio, of which there are currently 30 recognized species. Contents. 1. Species. 1.1. Cultivars. 2. Cultivation and availability. 3. Flavor and odor. 3.1. Ripeness and selection. 4. History. 5. Uses. 5.1. Culinary. 5.2. Nutritional and medicinal. 6. Customs and beliefs. 7. Cultural influence. Section 1. Species. For the complete list of known species of Durio, see List of Durio Species. Durian trees are relatively large, growing to 25 to 50 meters, 80 to 165 feet, in height, depending on the species. The leaves are evergreen, elliptic to oblong, and 10 to 18 centimeters, 4 to 7 inches long. The flowers are produced in 3 to 30 clusters, together on large branches, and directly on the trunk with each flower having a calyx, sepals, and five, rarely four or six, petals. Durian trees have one or two flowering and fruiting periods per year, though the timing varies depending on the species, cultivars, and localities. A typical durian tree can bear fruit after four or five years. The durian fruit can hang from any branch and matures roughly three months after pollination. The fruit can grow up to 30 centimeters, 12 inches long, and 15 centimeters, 6 inches in diameter, and typically weighs 1 to 3 kilograms, 2 to 7 pounds. Its shape ranges from oblong to round, the color of its husk green to brown, and its flesh pale yellow to red, depending on the species. Among the 30 known species of Durio, nine of them have been identified as producing edible fruits, D. zibethinus, D. dulcis, D. grandiflorus, D. graviolens, D. cutagensis, D. lowianus, D. macrantha, D. oxlianus, 
and D. testudinarium. However, there are many species for which the fruit has never been collected or properly examined, so other species with edible fruit may exist. Image Durian tree compared to human height. The name durian comes from the Malay word duri, thorn, together with the suffix an, for building a noun in Malay. D. zibethinus is the only species commercially cultivated on a large scale and available outside of its native region. Since this species is open pollinated, it shows considerable diversity in fruit color and odor, size of flesh and seed, and tree phenology. In the species name, Zybethenus refers to the Indian civet, Vivera zibetha. There is disagreement regarding whether this name, bestowed by Linnaeus, refers to civets being so fond of the durian that the fruit was used as bait to entrap them, or to the durian smelling like the civet. Durian flowers are large and feathery with copious nectar and give off a heavy, sour, and buttery odor. These features are typical of flowers pollinated by certain species of bats that eat nectar and pollen. According to research conducted in Malaysia in the 1970s, durians were pollinated almost exclusively by K fruit bats, Eonycterus bolia. However, a 1996 study indicated two species, D. grandiflorus and D. oblongus were pollinated by spider hunters, Nectarinaeidae, and another species, D. cudigensis, was pollinated by giant honeybees and birds, as well as bats. Image Durian flowers are usually closed during the daytime. Section 1.1 Cultivars Over the centuries, numerous durian cultivars propagated by vegetative clones have arisen in Southeast Asia. They used to be grown, with mixed results, from seeds of trees bearing superior quality fruit, but are now propagated by layering, marcotting, or more commonly, by grafting, including bud, veneer, wedge, whip, or u grafting onto seedlings of randomly selected rootstocks. Different cultivars can be distinguished to some extent by variations in the fruit shape, such as the shape of the spines. Durian customers express preferences for specific cultivars, which fetch higher prices in the market. Image Different cultivars of durian often have distinct colors. D101, right, has rich yellow flesh, clearly distinguishable from an unrelated variety, left. Most cultivars have a common name and a code number starting with D. For example, some popular clones are Cop, D99, Chani, D-123, Bursera or Green Durian or Tuan Mekhijau, D-145, Kanyao, D-158, Monthong, D-159, Kratomthong, and with no common name, D-24 and D-169. Each cultivar has a distinct taste and odor. More than 200 cultivars of D. zibethenus exist in Thailand. Chani is the most preferred rootstock due to its resistance to infection by Phytophthora palmivora. Among all the cultivars in Thailand, only four are currently in large-scale commercial cultivation, Chani, Kratum Thong, Mon Thong, and Kan Yao. There are more than a hundred registered cultivars in Malaysia, and many superior cultivars have been identified through competitions held at the annual Malaysian Agriculture, Horticulture, and Agrotourism Show. In Vietnam, the same process has been done through competitions held by the Southern Fruit Research Institute. In recent times, Sampan Samsi, a Thai government scientist, crossbred more than 90 varieties of durian to create Chantaburi No. 1, a cultivar without the characteristic odor which is awaiting final approval from the local Ministry of Agriculture. Another hybrid, Chantaburi No. 3, develops the odor about three days after the fruit is picked, which enables an odorless transport, yet satisfies consumers who prefer the pungent odor. Section 2. Cultivation and Availability The durian is native to Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei. There is some debate as to whether the durian is native to the Philippines or was introduced. The durian is grown in other areas with a similar climate, 
it is strictly tropical and stops growing when mean daily temperatures drop below 22 degrees Celsius or 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Image: Durio cutagensis from West Kalimantan, Indonesia. The center of ecologic diversity for durians is the island of Borneo, where the fruit of the edible species of durian, including D. zibethinus, D. dulcis, D. graviolens, D. cutagensis, D. oxlianus, and D. testudinarum are sold in local markets. In Brunei, D. zibethinus is not grown because consumers prefer other species such as D. graviolens, D. cutagensis, and D. oxlianus. These species are commonly distributed in Brunei, and together with other species like D. testudinarum and D. dulcis, represent rich genetic diversity. Although the durian is not native to Thailand, the country is currently one of the major exporters of durians, growing 781,000 metric tons, 769,000 long tons, or 861,000 short tons, of the world's total harvest of 1.4 million tons, 1.38 million long, 1.54 million short, in 1999, and exporting 111,000 tons, 109,000 long, 122,000 short. Malaysia and Indonesia follow, both producing about 265,000 tons, 261,000 long, 292,000 short, each. Malaysia exported 35,000 tons, 34,000 long, 39,000 short, in 1999. Chantaburi in Thailand each year holds the World Durian Festival in early May. This single province is responsible for half of the durian production of Thailand. In the Philippines, the center of durian production is the Davao region. The Kata Yuan Festival is an annual celebration featuring the durian in Davao City. Other places where durians are grown include Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Myanmar, India, Sri Lanka, the West Indies, Florida, Hawaii, Papua New Guinea, the Polynesian Islands, Madagascar, southern China, Hainan Island, northern Australia, and Pulau Ubin Island in Singapore. Image, a durian stall in Singapore. Durian was introduced into Australia in the early 1960s, and clonal material was first introduced in 1975. Over 30 clones of D. zibethinus and six durio species have been subsequently introduced into Australia. China is the major importer, purchasing 65,000 tons, 64,000 long, 72,000 short, in 1999, followed by Singapore with 40,000 tons, 39,000 long, 44,000 short, and Taiwan with 5,000 tons, 4,900 long, 5,500 short. In the same year, the United States imported 2,000 tons, 2,000 long, 2,200 short, mostly frozen, and the European community imported 500 tons, 490 long, 550 short. Image, durian flesh packed for sale with an exposed seed. The durian is a seasonal fruit, unlike some other non-seasonal tropical fruits such as the papaya, which are available throughout the year. In peninsular Malaysia and Singapore, the season for durians is typically from June to August, which coincides with that of the mangosteen. Prices of durians are relatively high as compared with other fruits. For example, in Singapore, the strong demand for high-quality cultivars such as the D24, Sultan, and Mao Shan Wang has resulted in typical retail prices of between 8 and 15 Singaporean dollars, 5 to 10 US dollars per kilogram of whole fruit. With an average weight of about 1.5 kilograms, 3.3 pounds, a durian fruit would therefore cost about 12 to 22 Singaporean dollars, 8 to 15 US dollars. The edible portion of the fruit, known as the aril and usually referred to as the flesh or pulp, only accounts for about 15 to 30 percent of the mass of the entire fruit. Many consumers in Singapore are nevertheless quite willing to spend up to around 75 Singaporean dollars or 50 US dollars 
in a single purchase of about half a dozen of the favored fruit to be shared by family members. In-season durians can be found in mainstream Japanese supermarkets, while in the West they are sold mainly by Asian markets. Section 3. Flavor and Odor The unusual flavor and odor of the fruit have prompted many people to express diverse and passionate views, ranging from deep appreciation to intense disgust. Writing in 1856, the British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace provides a much-quoted description of the flavor of the durian. Begin quotation. The five cells are silky white within, and are filled with a mass of firm, cream-colored pulp, containing about three seeds each. This pulp is the edible part, and its consistence and flavor are indescribable. A rich custard, highly flavored with almonds, gives the best general idea of it, but there are occasional wafts of flavor that call to mind cream cheese, onion sauce, sherry wine, and other incongruous dishes. Then there is a rich, glutinous smoothness in the pulp, which nothing else possesses, but which adds to its delicacy. It is neither acid, nor sweet, nor juicy. Yet it wants neither of these qualities, for it is in itself perfect. It produces no nausea or other bad effect, and the more you eat of it, the less you feel inclined to stop. In fact, to eat durians is a new sensation worth a voyage to the East to experience, as producing a food of the most exquisite flavor it is unsurpassed. End quotation. While Wallace cautions that the smell of the ripe fruit is certainly at first disagreeable, Later descriptions by Westerners are more graphic. British novelist Anthony Burgess writes that eating durian is like eating sweet raspberry blancmange in the lavatory. Chef Andrew Zimmern compares the taste to completely rotten, mushy onions. Anthony Bourdain, while a lover of durian, relates his encounter with the fruit as thus, quote, Its taste can only be described as indescribable something you will either love or despise. Your breath will smell as if you'd been French-kissing your dead grandmother." End quote. Travel and food writer Richard Sterling says, begin quotation, Its odor is best described as pig shit, turpentine, and onions, garnished with a gym sock. It can be smelled from yards away. Despite its great local popularity, the raw fruit is forbidden from some establishments, such as hotels, subways, and airports including public transportation in Southeast Asia. End quotation. Image. Sign forbidding durians on Singapore's mass rapid transit. Other comparisons have been made with the civet, sewage, stale vomit, skunk spray, and used surgical swabs. The wide range of descriptions for the odor of durian may have a great deal to do with the variability of durian odor itself. Durians from different species or clones can have significantly different aromas. For example, red durian, D. dulcis, has a deep caramel flavor with a turpentine odor, while red-fleshed durian, D. graviolens, emits a fragrance of roasted almonds. Among the varieties of D. zybethenus, Thai varieties are sweeter in flavor and less odorous than Malay ones. The degree of ripeness has an effect on the flavor as well. Three scientific analyses of the composition of durian aroma from 1972, 1980, and 1995 each found a mix of volatile compounds including esters, ketones, and different sulfur compounds, with no agreement on which may be primarily responsible for the distinctive odor. Image Hydrogen sulfide, one of the chemical compounds that may be responsible for the characteristic odor of durian. This strong odor can be detected half a mile away by animals, thus luring them. In addition, the fruit is extremely appetizing to a variety of animals, including squirrels, mouse deer, pigs, orangutan, elephants, and even carnivorous tigers. While some of these animals eat the fruit and dispose of the seed under the parent plant, others swallow the seed with the fruit and then transport it some distance before excreting with the seed being dispersed as a result. The thorny armored covering of the fruit discourages smaller animals. Larger animals are more likely to transport the seeds far from the parent tree. 
Section 3.1 Ripeness and Selection According to Larousse Gastronomique, the durian fruit is ready to eat when its husk begins to crack. However, the ideal stage of ripeness to be enjoyed varies from region to region in Southeast Asia and by species. Some species grow so tall that they can only be collected once they have fallen to the ground, whereas most cultivars of D. zibethinus are nearly always cut from the tree and allowed to ripen while waiting to be sold. Some people in southern Thailand prefer their durians relatively young, when the clusters of fruit within the shell are still crisp in texture and mild in flavor. In northern Thailand, the preference is for the fruit to be as soft and pungent in aroma as possible. In Malaysia and Singapore, most consumers prefer the fruit to be quite ripe and may even risk allowing the fruit to continue ripening after its husk has already cracked open. The flesh becomes richly creamy, slightly alcoholic, the aroma pronounced, and the flavor highly complex. The various preferences regarding ripeness among consumers make it hard to issue general statements about choosing a good durian. A durian that falls off the tree continues to ripen for two to four days, but after five or six days, most would consider it overripe and unpalatable. The usual advice for a durian consumer choosing a whole fruit in the market is to examine the quality of the stem or stalk, which loses moisture as it ages. A big, solid stem is a sign of freshness. Reportedly, unscrupulous merchants wrap, paint, or remove the stalks altogether. Another frequent piece of advice is to shake the fruit and listen for the sound of the seeds moving within, indicating the durian is very ripe and the pulp has dried out a bit. Image. A customer in Malaysia sniffs durian before purchasing it. Section 4. History. The durian has been known and consumed in Southeast Asia since prehistoric times, but has only been known to the Western world for about 600 years. The earliest known European reference to the durian is the record of Niccolo da Conti, who traveled to Southeast Asia in the 15th century. The Portuguese physician Garcia de Horta described durians in Colloquios dos Simples e Drogas da India, published in 1563. In 1741, Herbarium Amboinense by the German botanist George Eberhard Rumphius was published, providing the most detailed and accurate account of durians for over a century. The genus Durio has a complex taxonomy that has seen the subtraction and addition of many species since it was created by Rumphius. During the earliest stages of its taxonomical study, there was some confusion between durian and the soursop, Anana muricata, for both of these species had thorny green fruit. It is also interesting to note the Malay name for the soursop is durian belanda, meaning Dutch durian. In the 18th century, Johann Anton Weinmann considered the durian to belong to Castanier, as its fruit was similar to the horse chestnut. Image, Colloquios dos Simples e Drogas de India, 1563. Dizibethinus was introduced into Ceylon by the Portuguese in the 16th century and was reintroduced many times later. It has been planted in the Americas, but confined to botanical gardens. The first seedlings were sent from the Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew, to Auguste San Araman of Dominica in 1884. In Southeast Asia, the durian has been cultivated for centuries at the village level probably since the late 18th century, and commercially in southeastern Asia since the mid-20th century. In My Tropic Isle, Australian author and naturalist Edmund James Banfield tells how, in the early 20th century, a friend in Singapore sent him a durian seed, which he planted and cared for on his tropical island off the north coast of Queensland. Image, Durio Zibethinus Chromolithograph by Hola van Noten, circa 1863. In 1949, the British botanist E. J. H. Corner published The Durian Theory or the Origin of the Modern Tree. His theory was that endozoochory, the enticement of animals to transport seeds in their stomach, arose before any other method of seed dispersal, and that primitive ancestors of Durio species 
were the earliest practitioners of that dispersal method, in particular the red durian exemplifying the primitive fruit of flowering plants. Since the early 1990s, the domestic and international demand for durian in the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN region has increased significantly, partly due to the increasing affluence in Asia. Section 5. Uses Section 5.1. Culinary Durian fruit is used to flavor a wide variety of sweet edibles, such as traditional Malay candy, ice kacang, dodal, rose biscuits, and, with a touch of modern innovation, ice cream, milkshakes, mooncakes, yule logs, and cappuccino. Pulut durian is glutinous rice steamed with coconut milk and served with ripened durian. In Sabah, red durian is fried with onions and chili and served as a side dish. Red-fleshed durian is traditionally added to sayur, an Indonesian soup made from freshwater fish. Ikan brancus is fish cooked in a durian-based sauce, traditional in Sumatra. Tempoyak refers to fermented durian, usually made from lower-quality durian that is unsuitable for direct consumption. Tempoyak can be eaten either cooked or uncooked, is normally eaten with rice, and can also be used for making curry. Sambal tempoyak is a Sumatran dish made from the fermented durian fruit, coconut milk, and a collection of spicy ingredients known as sambal. Image, a durian-flavored yule log. In Thailand, blocks of durian paste are sold in the markets, though much of the paste is adulterated with pumpkin. Unripe durians may be cooked as a vegetable, except in the Philippines, where all uses are sweet rather than savory. Malaysians make both sugared and salted preserves from durian. When durian is minced with salt, onions, and vinegar, it is called boder. The durian seeds, which are the size of chestnuts, can be eaten whether they are boiled, roasted, or fried in coconut oil, with a texture that is similar to taro or yam but stickier. In Java, the seeds are sliced thin and cooked with sugar as a confectionery. Uncooked durian seeds are toxic due to cyclopropene fatty acids and should not be ingested. Young leaves and shoots of the durian are occasionally cooked as greens. Sometimes, the ash of the burned rind is added to special cakes. The petals of durian flowers are eaten in the Batak provinces of India, while in the Moluccas Islands, the husk of the durian fruit is used as fuel to smoke fish. The nectar and pollen of the durian flower that honeybees collect is an important honey source, but the characteristics of the honey are unknown. Image, tempoyak made from fermented durian. Section 5.2, Nutritional and Medicinal. Durian fruit contains a high amount of sugar, vitamin C, potassium, and the serotonergic amino acid tryptophan, and is a good source of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. It is recommended as a good source of raw fats by several raw food advocates while others classify it as a high glycemic or high fat food, recommending to minimize its consumption. Discover magazine reported an incident where a woman with pre-existing renal failure and ended up critically ill from potassium overdose, although of course in a subject with renal failure, many fruits could cause this. In Malaysia, a decoction of the leaves and roots used to be prescribed as an antipyretic. The leaf juice is applied on the head of a fever patient. The most complete description of the medicinal use of the durian as remedies for fevers is a Malay prescription, collected by Berkel and Hanif in 1930. It instructs the reader to boil the roots of Hibiscus rosa sinensis with the roots of Durio zibethenus, Nephelium longan, Nephelium mutabile, and Articarpus integrifolia, and drink the concoction or use it as a poultice. In the 1920s, Durian Fruit Products Incorporated of New York City launched a product called Dur India as a health food supplement, selling at $9 US for a dozen bottles, each containing 63 tablets. The tablets allegedly contain durian and a species of the genus Allium from India and vitamin E. The company promoted the supplement, saying that it provides, quote, more concentrated healthful energy in food form than any other product the world affords." End quote. 
Infobox, Durian, Durio Zybethenus, nutritional value per 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. Energy, 150 kilocalories or 620 kilojoules. Carbohydrates, 27.09 grams. Dietary fiber, 3.8 grams. Fat, 5.33 grams. Protein, 1.47 grams. Water, 65 grams. Vitamin C, 19.7 milligrams, or 33% of U.S. RDA. Potassium, 436 milligrams, or 9% of U.S. RDA. Notes, edible parts only, raw or frozen. Refuse, 68%, shells and seeds. Source, USDA Nutritional Database. Percentages are relative to U.S. recommendations for adults. Section 6. Customs and Beliefs Southeast Asian folk beliefs, as well as traditional Chinese medicine, consider the durian fruit to have warming properties liable to cause excessive sweating. The traditional method to counteract this is to pour water into the empty shell of the fruit after the pulp has been consumed and drink it. An alternative method is to eat the durian in accompaniment with mangosteen, which is considered to have cooling properties. Pregnant women or people with high blood pressure are traditionally advised not to consume durian. Another common local belief is that the durian is harmful when eaten with coffee or alcoholic beverages. The latter belief can be traced back at least to the 18th century when Rumphius stated that one should not drink alcohol after eating durians as it will cause indigestion and bad breath. In 1929, J.D. Gimlet wrote in his Malay Poisons and Charm Cures that the durian fruit must not be eaten with brandy. In 1981, J. R. Croft wrote in his Bombacaceae in Handbooks of the Flora of Papua New Guinea that a feeling of morbidity often follows the consumption of alcohol too soon after eating durian. Several medical investigations on the validity of this belief have been conducted with varying conclusions. The Javanese believe durian to have aphrodisiac qualities and impose a set of rules on what may or may not be consumed with it or shortly thereafter. A saying in Indonesian, meaning the durians fall and the sarongs come up, refers to this belief. The warnings against the supposed lecherous quality of this fruit soon spread to the West. The Swedenborgian philosopher Hermann Vetterling commented on so-called erotic properties of the durian in the early 20th century. A durian falling on a person's head can cause serious injuries because it is heavy, armed with sharp thorns, and can fall from a significant height. Wearing a hard hat is recommended when collecting the fruit. Alfred Russell Wallace writes that death rarely ensues from it because the copious effusion of blood prevents the inflammation which might otherwise take place. A common saying is that a durian has eyes and can see where it is falling, because the fruit allegedly never falls during daylight hours when people may be hurt. A saying in Indonesian, which translates to getting a fallen durian, means receiving an unexpected luck or fortune. Nevertheless, signs warning people not to linger under durian trees are found in Indonesia. Image Durian fruit is armed with sharp thorns fully capable of drawing blood. A naturally spineless variety of durian growing wild in Davao, Philippines, was discovered in the 1960s. Fruits born from these seeds also lacked spines. Since the bases of the scales develop into spines as the fruit matures, sometimes spineless durians are produced artificially by scraping scales off immature fruits. Section 7. Cultural Influence the durian is commonly known as the king of the fruits, a label that can be attributed to its formidable look and overpowering odor. Due to its unusual characteristics, the durian has been referenced or parodied in various cultural mediums. The durian is often perceived as a symbol of revulsion, as can be seen in Dodoria, one of the villains in the Japanese anime Dragon Ball Z. Dodoria, whose name is derived from the durian, is given a brutal appearance and a sinister role. In the Castlevania video game series, Rotten Durian 
is an item that removes 500 hit points from the character if consumed. Its in-game description reads, quote, has introduced you to a whole new world of unpleasant odors, end quote. The game Super Mario Sunshine includes several mini-games where one must throw fruit into baskets. The durian is unique among the fruit in that it cannot be picked up because of its spiny exterior and instead must be kicked like a soccer ball into the basket. The role-playing game Tales of Dynasty includes the durian, spelt Dorian by translators, as part of the edible food list. While fairly expensive and filling, the fruit, when consumed, also comes with an additional benefit of reducing random encounters by repelling monsters, presumably with its smell. The fruit was featured in the video game Madagascar, where the main character battles the final boss that spews out debilitating durian breaths, with durians also used as projectile weapons. In its native southeastern Asia, however, the durian is an everyday food and portrayed in the local media in accordance with the different cultural perception it has in the region. The durian symbolized the subjective nature of ugliness and beauty in Hong Kong director Fruit Chan's 2000 film Durian Durian and was a nickname for the reckless but lovable protagonist of the eponymous Singaporean TV comedy Durian King played by Adrian Pang. Likewise, the oddly shaped esplanade building in Singapore is often called the Durian by locals, and the Big Durian is the nickname of Jakarta, Indonesia. Image, Singapore's esplanade building, nicknamed the Durian. One of the names Thailand contributed to the list of storm names for western North Pacific tropical cyclones was Durian which was retired after the second storm of this name in 2006. Being a fruit much loved by a variety of wild beasts, the durian sometimes signifies the long-forgotten animalistic aspect of humans, as in the legend of Orang Mawas, the Malaysian version of Bigfoot, and Orang Pendek, its Sumatran version, both of which have been claimed to feast on durians. Image, Monument to Durian at the Davao International Airport you have reached the end of this spoken article. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html. This spoken article is based on a written version dated January 22, 2009, and was recorded by Wikipedia user Tony Lay who hopes you have enjoyed this audio presentation.